वेलकम टू दिस सेशन ऑन कंस्ट्रक्शन इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी लर्न हाउ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द बायसेक्टर ऑफ अ गिवन एंगल एंड ऑल्सो गिव प्रूफ दैट द कंस्ट्रक्शन वी मेड इज राइट इन दिस सेशन वी विल लर्न टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ परपेंडिकुलर बायसेक्टर ऑफ अ लाइन सेगमेंट एंड विल प्रूव दैट द कंस्ट्रक्शन इज करेक्ट Let's assume we have to construct perpendicular bisector of PQ. So let's start the construction. The steps for this construction are as follows. With the help of scale and pencil, draw a line segment. Let's name this line segment as PQ. Now taking a measurement of more than half of the line PQ, Place the pointed end of the compass on P and draw an arc above and below PQ. Now without changing the measurement, place same pointed point on Q and draw arc below and above PQ in such a way that they will intersect previously drawn arc. Note that measurements of radius from point p and q have not changed let's name the intersecting point x and y respectively and with the help of scale join sy and let's name the intersection point of pq and xy as o the point where the line xy intersects the line pq will divide the line segment pq into two equal parts and xy will also be perpendicular to the pq you can check the measurement of po and oq with the help of the scale whether it is equal or not also with the help of the protractor we can also check whether the angle formed is 90 degrees or not so in this way we constructed a perpendicular bisector of a line segment let's prove it mathematically as well now we will prove that PO is equal to OQ and angle XOP is equal to angle XOQ is equal to 90 degrees if we prove the triangles XOP and XOQ congruent and since the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal therefore we can say that sides and angles are equal and it will be easy to prove that PO is equal to QO and angle xop is equal to angle xoq is equal to 90 degrees for that we will first take triangle xpy and triangle xqy by joining px py qx and qy now in triangle xpy and xqy side xp is equal to side xq because these are arcs of equal radius similarly side py is equal to side qy because these are arcs of equal radius and side xy is equal to side xy common side that is triangle xpy and triangle xqy are congruent by side 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 congruency rule therefore angle pxy or say angle qxy will be equal to qxy or say angle qxo because the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal let's this be equation 1 now let's take triangle pxo and triangle qxo as we know that side px is equal to side qx because these are arcs of equal radius angle pxo is equal to angle qxo by equation 1 and side xo is common side Therefore triangle PXO and triangle QXO will be congruent by side angle side congruency rule and therefore side PO is equal to side QO the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal that is point O bisects the line segment PQ we have proved the part that PQ is bisected by XY Now it is yet to be proved that the line xy is perpendicular to the line segment pq so that it can be proved that it is perpendicular bisector of pq here angle xop is equal to angle xoq 
because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. Let this be equation 2. And angle XOP plus angle XOQ is equal to 180 degrees because these angles form a linear pair. Let this be equation 3. Now, by equation 2 and equation 3, we can say that angle XOP is equal to angle XOQ. Therefore, both angles will be 90 degrees. Angle XOP is equal to angle XOQ is equal to 90 degrees. That is, XY is perpendicular to PQ. Friends, that's it for today's session. Today, we learned to construct a perpendicular bisector of a line segment and also learned to prove it. Meet you in the next session with some questions based on the same. Thank you.